Hi, I'm Kat, and this is today's Tarot. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've made a video. I was out visiting family, which switched around my schedule quite a bit, and I've just been recalibrating after getting back into town. With that said, I hope you all are well and have been well. I have had a few of you reach out to me just to send me some appreciation, and I thank you for that. Let's go ahead and jump into today's tarot. The opening card that we have for today is the Ace of Cups. So imagine, if you can, your own hand holding this big goblet of a cup and what is pouring into it. The cups are our emotional body, our emotional center. And so it brings up this idea of this emotional openness that we're in today. It's almost like a rawness or a vulnerability. Vulnerability can sometimes have negative connotations to it. You know, I remember as a kid telling my dad that what I wanted to do with my life was help people see who they are and that how I was going to do that was by being open and honest with who I am. And hopefully that would create a arena for people to feel safe in expressing who they are and his response was katie you're gonna get hurt you're gonna be so vulnerable if you do that and you know what i've realized in the experience of that practice of being that way with people is that it actually does open up a space for people to see that they are really similar to other people because we're sharing what's kind of behind this veil or this uh, costume that we have to wear in, in the world because for some reason our culture makes us feel like having any emotion is like some kind of weakness, which I strongly argue against <laughs> because we are mammals and we evolved to have emotions. And so our emotional body and our emotional experience is actually a lot of the terrain that everything else in our life is built up off of, similar to how waterways shape the earth that we all live in, they shape us as well. So we're starting the day with this energy of feeling open to something new, um, possibly a new uh, love beginning, um, something that is opening for our heart. And that is what we are starting with today. The challenge that we have for today is the charioteer, also known as the chariot in the traditional tarot system. This is a major arcana card. It's the number seven. So this is a card of self-mastery. So our challenge today is working with our spirit and our nature. And how do we learn this self-mastery and how we interact with ourself? This person um, that is in this card is in a chariot, since, hence why they are the charioteer. They are armored, and they have these two sphinx types creatures in front of them, which represent our senses, and our mind are the reins on those senses. So this is bringing up this energy of feeling a challenge in where we move forward in life and what draws us out into life and how we go into it in an armored way, in a kind of self-protective way. But it's also bringing up, uh, you know, what we can see through this experience when we go out into new experiences. Now consider that the this card is ruled by Cancer, which is governed by the moon. And we are right now approaching a full moon time in the next couple of days. It's actually on the 22nd of August. And it's actually going to be the second full moon that we've had this month. And it, or I'm sorry, the second full moon that we'll have in Aquarius. And so we are experiencing what's termed a blue moon because we have this second revisiting of the moon being in Aquarius energy, which typically the moon is only in a zodiac sign one time. Um, rather than twice in the same cycle. So we have this revisiting and consider that full moons are a time that if you are living next to the coastal regions, they're a time of revealing because they have the highest tides and the deepest fallings of tides. And so they reveal what's underneath the surface. And in a lot of ways, they reveal what we need to let go of once we can see kind of how we can be in our own way. 
so to speak. And so this is our challenge that we're working with today. As, and, you know, I would argue even then over the next couple of days as we approach this full moon uh, because this card showed up. Now, major arcanas are life lesson types of energies. So there's something that's being revealed in this time frame that is a growing curve for us. Now consider that Aquarius rules the nervous system and it's also the sign that's associated with knowing and and it's going into a full moon. And so we are seeing and revealing possibly some things that have been troubling for our nervous system, some things that we might do as far as behaviors that uh, excite our nervous system and trigger our nervous system in a negative way that aren't necessarily serving us. And so this is a challenge and what we're working with and consider that challenges aren't always bad. You know, challenges bring out different parts of us as we problem solve and we figure out solutions and new approaches to things that we are faced with that we wouldn't have been faced with if we weren't given that challenge. So consider that any challenge that you are in is actually something that you are able to grow from and is an opportunity and an experience to see different aspects of yourself. With that said, the way that we're going to get through that challenge is the Ace of Pentacles. And this is a card of opportunity. It's like um, when I was in my Tarot apprenticeship, my teacher was really adamant about me learning the energy of this card. And he got me a silver coin and he asked me, what does that feel like in your hand? And to me, I felt like it was a gift that I was giving someone. And he said, no, 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 no. <laughs> bring it closer to you. What does it feel like? And the what he was trying to uh, express in, in asking me to pull it a little closer to my body is realizing that this is an opportunity for me. It's a, it's something that I need to receive. Uh, it's a, you know, something of value that I need to receive. And so consider that this challenge is actually bringing you to a place where you can receive something of great value that will actually open up to a new path that's actually going to be really satisfying and nourishing. So that's encouraging. The overall energy that we have for today is another number seven. It's the seven of pentacles. And this is a card that's all about having patience. You know, um, consider that, you know, sometimes when we go out on an adventure, we want to get to where we're going. We want to get to the end result. We want to get to the final, you know, destination. But a lot of the experience is in the journey and in, you know, how you respond to each experience that comes up in front of you. And if it's, uh, you know, something that comes up that you have to work around or climb over or just barrel through. And all of this is going to give you uh, different feedback on what works in what situations and what works in other situations, much like a gardener tends to their crop so that they can harvest it later. You know, you have to have patience with where you put attention and intention and trust that it will grow into something fruitful if you continue to give energy to it. So all in all, uh, you know, we are working with some powerful energies today that are about new beginnings because we have two ace cards and new beginnings that are creating a path that is going to be growing over a length of time because we have, you know, these fruits kind of manifesting and ripening and consider that patience is absolutely necessary when it comes to harvesting things that are ripe you know you can't for instance uh harvest a squash when it's just starting to form and it's expect it to be tasty you know everything takes time to ripen and to come full into form so be patient with yourself I send you a lot of love and a great big hug wherever you are. Know that I appreciate you and appreciate your journey and I believe in you every step you take forward. Sending you so much love. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.